Most of us use terms like documents and records interchangeably, but they are distinct and unique terms. My name is Kevin Kuto and in this video I am going to simplify the difference between documents and records for you. If you like the content, consider subscribing and liking the video so that we bring more such content for you. Let's begin with our first term which is documents. A document is an editable content file that has information in structured or unstructured format. Documents can be changed or revised as needed. There is no required retention schedule for the documents beyond their business need. Some examples of documents could be a customer list, phone list, standard operating procedures, work instructions, quality manuals, failure mode and effect analysis or FMEA which also includes DFMA and EFMEA both, control plans, company policies, design guidelines, company websites and books. Customer list might be updated as you add or delete more customers or design guidelines might be changed as you understand your design better or DFMA could be modified as your concept modifies. That's why they all are documents. Now that we understand documents, let's understand records. So records are historical files that provide proof of existence of something. Now records could be created or received by an organization in connection to their business transactions. Records could be used for compliance with legal requirements and they could be in paper or digital format. Now, some examples of records could be your birth certificate, driving license, PAN card, education records, legal filings of the company, tax returns, inspection reports, measurement instrument calibration report or payment receipts, accounting records, billing information, test results, maintenance record, employee training record, statistical process control records, corrective or preventive action records, production records, dispatch records and product sales records. So all these are examples of records. Now records are not editable or can't be recreated except when the factual correction is needed. Like if you have any wrong information printed on your birth certificate, you can get it corrected based upon the factual evidences. Records have strict retention schedule as defined by your business or industry or country or defined standards. Now, if you carefully observe, all records are documents before they turn into records. But vice versa is not true. That means not all records are documents. Many records start as document and then they become record once they are finalized. Like your purchase order when it is not filled or sent to the customer is a document, it's a format which can be easily modified as needed. But once we fill all the information in it and send it to the customer and get the approval, it becomes a record. And now we can't modify it further unless in the case of factual correction. So I hope that now on you will always use terms like documents and records in the appropriate context. Thanks for watching and see you in the next learning video.